see. This probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV, he was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. He was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. 
Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that... Uh, available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. When? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horinouchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a uh, awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn. Kamrocha is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. They're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but... You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides... I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey. If you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn! Yeah.
Hey. Okay. Your bar destroyed? Huh? You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. So why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Where's Kasuga? Folks said you would know. Hmm. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> you should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I've punched a woman. <sighs> so, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? <sighs> Give it another swing. And this time, try to have better aim. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Decided to show up. Idiot. Why are you here? I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. <laughs> you okay, Hamako san? <laughs> Don't think that I was trying to protect you guys or anything. It wasn't like that. Oh, sure. You just didn't approve of these guys' bad manners, right? <laughs> You're too classy a lady. <laughs> yep. They just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? <laughs> yeah. I think you've got it. <laughs> Stop right there! Out of the way, you shit. <laughs> Are you already back in the chairman's good graces, Totska? <laughs> I don't care what he thinks of me anymore. I'm done with the old man. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Ijin Show standoff was a fucking scam. Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell, the chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. Huh. Our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not taking it anymore! My boys here agree with me. We're all together on this! You can't stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino. Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Sure. Come after you, tear you limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Let's say you actually manage to pull that off. Then what? Then I take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town! Don't waste my time. 
You are no Yakuza leader. Go play king of the playground at some park. If Hamako-san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here, I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in the river. That's a promise. We clear? We're clear. that the Omi Alliance is behind them. From the start, their plan was to take out the Eugene 3 Lauma was just using you to get that done. I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you already knew? Ha! <laughs> and here I thought I was finally gonna get a thanks out of you. <laughs> Someday. Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to Komijua. About a thousand of them. What? Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking coward. Seriously? They're gonna try and get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Ijin 3's whole operation? They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about the counterfeiting. And they figure if they destroy that, they'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. Assuming you still want to lend the Komi Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. What? Mahabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. And what? Now it's full on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshino's. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. I get it. So can you help? Don't make me beg. You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the Aging 3 will forget all about the number business. Really? Do I have your word on that? Yeah. I'll talk to him myself. They'll come around. We got a deal? Uh, we do. But I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan, it's the director, Ogasawara. He hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Yeah, your hearing's good, Adachi. 
Did you also hear that Ogasawara is behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal Kume. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Let's go. 
Hey. <clears throat> Yo. Yo. Sup? Hey ya. Even if he's here, there's no way we can get to him in this crowd. Hey! You with the spider hair! Ah, oh, shit. That's the guy Kume was with. Look at this riffraff! Let's show them they're not welcome! I think we better make ourselves scarce! Agreed. You think we'll let you rats scamper away? Prepare to be exterminated! The old Show me what you got! Here we go! Get on the Let's go! You're gonna be in a world of hurt! Shoot it! Shoot it!
give you permission to start the party without me, you little shits. Asshole! Quit swinging that thing around! I thought I was a goner. Kasuga, that's an Omi Alliance lieutenant. Lieutenant? Reiji Ishioda. Don't you remember him? I don't think so. Really? He was at that officer's meeting in Kamurocho. The place where you were shot. Hey. I've seen that mangy ass hair before. I know you. Uh... Yeah, I remember. You're the guy the acting captain shot. Huh. So what if I am? I'm surprised you're alive. Why are you here? Oh, it's a real tearjerker of a story. You better grab some tissues before I tell it. Oh, damn. That dramatic, huh? Do... Do you actually want to hear it? No, you dumbass. Tell your stories in hell. Time to go balls to the wall! Shit! Watch out, Ichiban! Let's get this show on the road! <sighs> Listen, guys. One smack of that wrecking ball and you're done. So whatever you do, watch where it's going. We still have to watch out for his little army, too. Let him come. You see what just happened? He took out his own crew. <sighs> yeah, they're scared now, so they might hang back. Keep your eyes on that ball! Cool. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Here we go. You're in it now. Let's go. Right. Let's go. This now. Yeah. Let's see. I'm up! I got this! Huh? Going in! Let's go! Here we go! You're alive! Sorry now! Cool. That's how you do it! I feel the stats going up! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Damn you! Why can't you just stay in one fucking place? So works? What's wrong with this piece of shit? Maybe I'll just give it some more juice. Let's have some pancakes. Sancho, Sancho, son. My condolences to the recently squished. It's kind of a damn shame to have to flatten that woman, though. She was just my type. <laughs> huh? This damn thing's stuck! into you. Why do you always attract the weirdos? Shut up! I don't really want to think about it. 
Hey! What's happening over there? You got pancakes or not? Clear that rubble and let's find out. Hey! Welcome. Hey, uh, we actually ain't here for a meal. Huh? Yeah. Mm. 
Yes. Yo. Hmm. Yes, sir, I see. Well, if that's what you really want... Then we'll comply. I know you don't have too many options right now. What did Ogikubo say? Kasuga, will you lend us a hand? We only have about two minutes before the Omi arrive. That's not enough time to burn all the evidence of counterfeiting. Wait, you're going to burn it all? Yes, Ogikubo ordered us to pull the plug. There will be no more fake currency made in Ijinjo. None of us realized how serious the Omi Alliance was about destroying the Great Wall. <sighs> that failure is on us. <sighs> mm. Shutting it down won't be enough. That would allow evidence of Ogikubo's involvement to survive. We need to burn it all. That's my decision. Junki Han! See that a healthy fire gets started. Songwei, that will burn down our entire surveillance system, as well as our home, the only safe haven for us in this world. Everyone living here depends on it. I know. I'm aware of the consequences. Ah, then please, forgive me for questioning you. Yeah, Kibari o Mojori ta kajawa. Shigan up so, so duro. You're really going to burn it all down to save Ogikubo? Even if it costs you everything? Ogikubo was the only one who ever gave a shit about us. He carved us out a home. It wasn't perfect, but we owe him so much. I'm doing this to pay back our debt to him. I wouldn't even call it a true sacrifice. Most people would call it arson. And you want us to help you? Not with the burning. I just need you to stall the Omni Alliance. Keep them here, at this spot. It won't be for long. We just need enough time to get the fire going. <sighs> I don't know. Please, we need you. Songui, please, don't. Yeah, enough already. Stand up straight. Huh? To be honest, I never really liked you. And I hope you realize we don't owe Ogikubo shit. But a woman as proud as her doesn't bow without a hell of a good reason. <laughs> Ooh. She's finally speaking from the heart. This is as real as it gets. Do you understand? 
Uh, I do now. Sorry. I'm kind of dense when it comes to women. Not me. I'm good in that area, in case anybody was wondering. So you'll help? You'll stall them? Yep, we're doing this. Psycho-san. Yeah? <sighs> Thank you. Here they are. Hey, I recognize most of them. You guys aren't dead? Shouldn't you be splattered on a wrecking ball? Nope. Lucky you, you get to fight us again. It's just crazy you're still alive. Me? Yeah, think about it. First, you were shot by Captain Arakawa. Isn't that right? None of your business. I mean, by all accounts, you should be dead. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean by all accounts? I heard Arakawa had his own men dispose of your body. <laughs> Next time I see him, I should ask him why you're still alive. Well, why you were alive. <sighs> Ogasawarasa, the printer's in there. They're trying to burn the evidence. Ishiro-san. <laughs> no wonder there were hardly any Komi Jewel guards. They were all busy barbecuing the place. Ichiban, move. What are you doing? We're about to lose all the evidence! Nobody's getting past me. Sorry, but I made a promise to Songhui. You did what?! I swore to her that I would buy her enough time to torch the joint. And Namba, this is for your sake too. You son of a... Ichiban! Hurry up and take them out! This time, I'll make sure you die! Don't get in my way. Right. I got this. Don't get you. Doing good. I'm not backing down. Right back at him. Watch this. Oh, that reeks. Let's go. You're gonna get stopped. Do something. I got this. Try this on your side. Now. Don't get caught. I'm not backing down. Come on now! I'm up! Let's go! Let's go! 
Of that smoke. Let's bounce. Cowards, where are you going? <sighs> Fools, this isn't over yet. Since you came all this way, allow us to show you some hospitality, Ogasawara-san. now. All the counterfeit bills. And my brother. <sighs> you had to wait until the very end to stab me in the back. Namba, I wish I could have saved something that would have led you to your brother. But your life was on the line, man. Shut up! If you ask me, Namba, you have very good friends. You call them friends? Yes. And I can help you with your problem. You want to know where your brother is? Huh? He was very close to discovering the truth of the fake bills in Ijincho. I knew that if he discovered that truth, I'd have to kill him. But I also knew that killing him would be a terrible waste of his talent. So I found a way to use him. Where is he now? <laughs> He's... residing among the outcasts of our residential district. He's not allowed to leave, of course. No. But he's safe and well. Really? What the fuck? Why didn't you tell us? I, I, I know it would have been risky, but still... Far too risky. We couldn't tell you, and we especially couldn't tell Namba-san. He's been a prime target of the Ijin-3 ever since he found out about the counterfeiting. Well, I do see what you mean. You want to realize the only reason we're telling you now is because your friends helped me by risking their lives. And they did that for you, not me. Just so you know. So what do you say, Namba? I can't just take your word for it. I need to see him for myself. Let's get the hell out of here, then. I really don't feel like getting burnt to a crisp. Yeah, stand up, let's go!
What do you think this place is? The public jail? Uh, don't worry, we won't be staying long. I just couldn't think of anywhere else we could take a guy we kidnapped. Did it have to be here, though? Sorry. You're not gonna torture him, are you? I can't allow that. This guy's the director of Bleach Japan. He led an Omi Alliance army into Ijincho. Thanks to him, the Great Wall of Muscle's about to come down. Hmm? Is that true? Yeah. So do you really want to let him walk out of here? Think about it. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> Just be gone by morning. We got it. Thanks. Boy, do I have a lot of questions for you, Ogasawara-san. Lucky it's a long time till sunrise. <laughs>